My name is Martin Lesperance. In the past, I've worked over 27 years in emergency services as a firefighter and a paramedic. And I saw a lot of terrible situations. And I hated seeing those things. You know, I'd go home and I'd think about them. Decades later, I still think about some of those calls and I wonder how those people are doing and how much their lives have been changed. I don't like to see people hurt and I don't want to see your life or the lives of your family members devastated by a simple lack of safety awareness. I've spoken at conferences and safety meetings for organizations such as Exxon, Boeing, NASA, Los Alamos National Laboratory, steel companies, aluminum companies, Budweiser, and that's just to name a few. Some of the audiences were as small as 25 people and audiences as large as 3,000 people. Now, I'll be sharing with you some of those same stories I shared with them to help you remind yourself that safety is so important. COVID has changed how and where a lot of us work from. More people are working from home than ever before. And even when COVID is on a decline or it's history, a lot of companies still are going to want their employees to work from home. Of course, this doesn't work for everybody. You can't build a car at home. But with technology, a lot of people can work from home, whether it's a separate home office, a kitchen table, or a coffee table in the living room. So why is this program important to you and your family? Well, it's simple. If you get hurt, your family's going to be affected. And if a family member is hurt, you're going to be affected. Now, as a paramedic, I attended a lot more injuries and medical emergencies that happen in and around the home than at traditional workplaces. I think there's a couple reasons for that. One is that we spend more time at home. We spend their off hours and we sleep at home. And the more time you spend at home, that increases the chance of being injured or suffering a medical emergency at home. The second reason is where you worked, you probably had safety rules and regulations that had to be followed. Now at home, it's unlikely you have those same rules. Now at the workplace, if you needed a light bulb changed, well, you would call maintenance, they would come with the proper equipment and the proper manpower and they would take care of the situation. Now at home, you're the head of maintenance and you're the head of the safety department and no one's watching, you may be tempted to take a safety shortcut. I've seen lives devastated when people thought, well, standing on a chair to change a light bulb was just a, a little safety risk. And they ended up falling, hitting their head or their neck, and they ended up with a catastrophic injury. A catastrophic injury is one that is gonna change your life forever, like a serious head injury or spinal cord damage where you're paralyzed. All because they just took a little risk to save a minute or two. And they ended up devastating the lives of everyone in that family. You don't want to put your family members through this. The videos are short. Now this is done on purpose to make these micro learning safety messages easier to digest. I'll tell some stories then tie in a safety point. And then we'll talk about how these could have been prevented and how you can prevent these things from happening to you and your family members. So let's get started on making your home slash office or your office slash home a safer place for you and your family members.